Well, it started with an alien device did what it did. It stuck itself upon his wrist with secrets that it hid. Now he's got superpowers, he's no ordinary kid. He's Ben 10. What up everyone, it's your boy FlozmG back with another episode of Tear Up, and this time I am going to be ranking various Cartoon Network shows. I've ranked Nickelodeon shows, I've nicked, I've nicked, I've ranked Disney shows as well. I'm starting to run out of networks. We've got selections of both older and newer shows in this episode, so let's see where it takes us. The rankings for this video are as follows. God tier, binge watcher, it's all right, not a fan, and cancel. And I will admit, some of these shows I've definitely seen far more than others, and some of these I've seen maybe one or two episodes of. Of course, there were a lot of Cartoon Network shows I haven't even seen one episode of, so I'm not exactly going to include those because I know nothing about them. All right, let's see. First up, we have Adventure Time. With our main character, I believe the name of is Finn, and his magical dog friend, Jake. Forgive me if I get some character names wrong. Not gonna lie, I don't really know what the premise of this show is. I've seen a couple episodes of it. All I know is that Spongebob is some sort of ice wizard in this show. Um, there's someone named Princess Bubblegum, I believe. And, oh, 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 what was he singing in that scene? Where Finn was like a really tiny baby and he was like, oh my god, what are you saying? I'm a tough dude, baby, I can bring on your mom. Bring on your mom. Bring on your mom. And you can bring on your I will bring you for fun. I forget the words! I'm gonna need to look it up later. That one scene brought it up for me. I was originally gonna put it in Not a Fan, but now I'm gonna put it in It's Alright. Cause I mean, that scene kind of brought it back for me, making it all right. I'm a doctor, baby. I can put you for fun. Oh, I love this series. Next up, we have Bakugan, and not include the newer Battle Planet series and anything that came after that. Those do not exist. Those are not true Bakugan. I should also include if like a certain kind of show had like various different series, like with Bakugan, there's Battle Brawlers. New Vestroya, Gundalian Invaders, and Mectanium Surge. If a series has, like, various types of series like that, or continuations, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Basically, if it has multiple things, I'm mashing it all down into one thing. Bagogon was by far one of my favorite shows. It still is one of my favorite shows. And I've, I've done a few tier lists about ranking Bagogon in the past. And I've gotten some hate, I've gotten some hate that I put Preyus in fucking God tier. Which, I mean, in retrospect, may have not been the best decision. But, hey, opinions changed since then. Either way, Bakugan, really good. I don't know if I want to put it in God tier, though. I'm going to leave some room for improvement, despite the fact that the series is over. And put it in Binge Watcher. Comment what your favorite Bakugan was. Oh, next up we have a show that I keep forgetting that I want to do the theme song for. We have Ben 10. Ben 10, well, how do I describe this show? Well, it started with an alien device did what it did. It stuck itself upon his wrist with secrets that it hid. Now he's got superpowers, he's no ordinary kid. He's Ben 10. Basically, spaceship thingy crashed down to Earth. They had a watch in it that whoever wears it can turn into various types of aliens. Which all of some pretty cool powers. And Ben uses those powers to be a superhero! And eventually, I don't know how, he eventually unlocks more, more different aliens. And like with Ben 10, this is also um, considering all, all the future series. Most of the future series. I'm going to Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. Anything Omniverse and past that, 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 that is not Ben 10 to me. I refuse to acknowledge that as Ben 10. I mean, Omniverse can technically be considered part of the original storyline? Sure do. 
But I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at the end of Ultimate Alien, though. This show was definitely a good one. This was definitely a show that belongs within the God tier. It definitely belongs within the God tier. Oh, next up, Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! This is also one I've been wanting to do the theme song for, but not sure if I can hit certain notes. Yeah, and with the Beyblade saga, I, I am on, I am only referring to the Metal Saga. Burst. Hell no. Bay Wheels? Hell no. Any of the Beyblade before that? Hell no. Beyblade Metal Fusion, Metal Masters, Metal Fury, and Shogun Steel. That is the Metal Saga. That is all that matters. If I were including if I were including Beyblade Burst, that's bringing it down all the way to not a fan. I I hate that with a passion. I will never include it. However, reg however, the Beyblade Metal Saga, that is so much perfection that it deserves its rightful place at the head of God tier. The head of God tier for the King of Bladers. Next up, we're coming to a bit of an older show, Codename Kids Next Door. Um, I, I've seen a few episodes of this one. All I know that I don't remember if anyone's referred to as their actual names. Pretty sure everyone's referred to like number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. I'm pretty sure that's all they're referred to as. I think. I cannot remember a scene where they use their actual names. Either that or there were a lot of them and I have a very shit memory. Codename Kids Next Door didn't leave the biggest impression on me. But, I mean, it could have been better. It could have been worse. It's alright. I mean, it's alright. Next up, we have another show that I've been wanting to do the theme song for, but keep forgetting to. Ooh, Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Flintstones, a family of cave people that live a sort of similar modern society life. They live in houses of stone. They drive cars made of stone and wood. When I say drive, they literally use their feet to make it move. And the thing is, I don't even know the Flintstones... From the Flintstones, I first heard about them from Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles, cause I, cause I originally thought, like when I, when I was wee 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 wee, when I was a wee bit younger, I thought the show was made to promote the cereal, not the other way around. Wait a minute, the show wasn't even made to promote the cereal. No, wait, what? I don't know what I'm talking about. This show makes me confused. I was never really a fan of it anyway. Still not a fan of it. Next up we have The Amazing World of Gumball. This one, I will say, I've seen a fair amount of episodes. And I don't, I don't really know how to feel. It's definitely better than some of these on this list. But not a lot of them. I mean, if anything, I'd probably put it at the very end of It's Alright. Because, I mean, if there, if there was nothing else on, I mean, I'd, 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 I'd watch it. I'd watch it. Alright, next up we have Johnny Tash, Johnny Chan, Nana 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 Tash. This one is actually going to be the next theme song. I, I, I already recorded it, video's already done, it's going to be the next theme song. Johnny Test, a, if I remember correctly, either a 10 to 13 year old, I completely forget, whose two sisters are scientific geniuses. And perform a shit ton of experiments on him. But why does he let himself do it? Because he thinks awesome things will happen! Oh yeah, there's also a talking dog. Th theme song's pretty lit as well. The series itself? I might put at the very beginning of It's Alright. Because there's definitely been better. There's definitely been worse. Next up we have a timeless classic. We got Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes... I don't, there can't be a single person on the face of the planet that hadn't heard of Looney Tunes. It's had many iterations over the years, some far more traumatizing than others, and some that I wish to forget altogether. But if we're going with classic Looney Tunes cartoons, then I think this might actually be a binge watcher. Because I mean, I mean, there are certain characters I can watch for hours on end. All right, next up we have Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. 
I don't even know how many series of Pokemon there have been. And I'll be honest, I've played more of the Pokemon games and definitely opened much more packs than I have than I've seen the show. And I mean each aspect has their respective pros and cons. The show The show is the one I can never get on board with. I'm I'm fully on board with the pack opening. I'm fully on board with the game playing. It was a show that could never really catch my attention. I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of it. I'm probably going to say I'm going to put it at the very end of It's Alright. Because some of these are better than it. I'm going to get a lot of hate. I know it. Uh, next up we have this monstrosity of a show. The Powerpuff Girls. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Sounds like a recipe for... I'm not gonna go in there. The only thing I can remember is that I believe one of these bitches' names was Bubbles or something. And I'm probably even wrong about that. I, I don't like this show. It's not aimed for someone like me. And if you say it's aimed for someone like me, <laughs> you don't know me. This show must die. It should have never been rebooted and needed to die within the first season. Cancel it! Okay, next up here we have the regular show. I've seen maybe two episodes of this at most, and with both of them, I was just sitting there like, I, I ain't for this. From what I hear, I think it had like a highly anticipated finale or something, but I mean, the show itself, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I'm just not. It didn't catch my heart. Next up, we have Scooby Dooby Doo. Th this series will always be good, except for, uh,. A couple of outliers. The three best Scooby-Doo series by far were definitely the original Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo Where Are You, What's New Scooby-Doo, and Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Those will always be the three best Scooby-Doo series ever. And Frank Welker can be the only voice of Fred. He will be the only voice of Fred. No one else can ever do Fred. No one. I ain't even gonna get into the show, Velma. I ain't even gonna go there. Because the show is supposed to be centered around Scooby Dooby Doo! But then again, Scooby Doo, I mean, Velma might not be related to Scooby Doo at all. We don't know. But Scooby Doo himself, you know this is a God Tier Boy! In fact, I think he's the head of God Tier Boys! He should be the face of Cartoon Network! But then again, I think that was Bugs Bunny. I don't know. Who do you think was the face of Cartoon Network? Next up we have whatever the hell this was, Steven Universe. I've seen maybe three episodes, could not, could not gather any new information. Not a single bit. I mean, there's gems, there's food eaten, there's apparently some story there that I've yet to find. Show um, um, bye bye Steven! Don't ever come back. Next up, we have one of the greatest series of all time, Tom and Jerry. This will always be one of the best shows to ever exist, which actually, originally, was its own show. You know, like, sometimes when you go to, like, a movie theater or watch a movie, there'll be those, like, short animations at the very beginning of it, or, like, correction, before the movie even starts, there'll be, like, commercials, you'll see those short little animations, you know, get your heart all warmed up or whatever, or make you laugh. That's what Tom and Jerry was originally. Those would be shown at the very beginning of movies, and then they got collected and became their own show because they were so great. Tom and Jerry were so great. So great. It deserves a co-lead in God tier. Tom and Jerry was also one of the best Cartoon Network shows to ever exist. And finally, we have a show called We Bear Bears. This one I've actually seen probably more than a majority of the It's Alright episodes. I think Johnny Test and maybe Gumball are the only shows I've seen more than We Bear Bears. And I mean, I mean, I, I think We Bear Bears is pretty good. It's about three different bears that live in the woods, one of which I can only see actually living in these types of woods. I, I, I actually don't remember what their names are. One's a grizzly bear, one's a panda bear, one's a polar bear who calls himself Ice Bear and speaks like this. Ice Bear will no longer share again due to gravity. I mean, like, 
What is with that monotone voice? But as a show, I mean, it's all right. And I might put it at, you know, I'll put it at the head if it's all right. Right ahead of Johnny Test. Do I give a shit? Not really. And I think this is where I'm going to end my rankings. I've been FlozMG. This has been Ranking Cartoon Network Shows, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Mm.